Two weeks after President William Ruto nominated 51 persons to head the various state departments in cabinet, the parliament is now warming up to take charge of the recruitment process as the departmental committees of the National Assembly embark on the grilling of the PSS to ascertain their suitability. The packed process will begin Monday and end on Friday this week. The first day will see 10 names feature with Julius Korir, who was nominated to the Cabinet Affairs docket, kicking off the process. The concurrent processes will also feature Philip Kelo Harsame of the Crop Development Department and Dr. Chris Kipto of the National Treasury. Raymond Omolo, who is the nominee for the Interior National Administration, will follow, as well as Hari Kimutai of Livestock Development. James Mohati, who was picked to lead the State Department of Economic Planning, will be keen to seek the nod of the Committee on Finance and Planning. The afternoon session will also feature Ambassador Professor Julius Bitok, who is eyeing the Citizen Services Docket, Peter Toom of the Medical Services, Aurelia Rono of the Parliamentary Affairs, and Dr. Josephine Buru, who is the nominee Health Standards and Professional Management, will close the first day of the vetting process. Julius Korir, Dr. Chris Kipto, Peter Toom, Hari Kimutai were retained from the retired President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration. Others who got a chance include Belio Kipsang and Charles Hinga. However, Sylvia Naseya Mohoro, who is the nominee for the wildlife docket, will first overcome a court hurdle seeking to strike her off from the list of the nominees. According to Stephen Karaoke Minor, Naseya ought not to be on the list since she had not been shortlisted by the Public Service Commission during the interviews conducted between October 12th to 22nd. According to Section 155.3 of the Constitution of Kenya, the President should nominate persons for the PS position from the list recommended by the Public Service Commission PSC. This will be in line with the constitutional requirement of merit and fair competition as the basis of appointment. The ruling on the matter is expected Monday morning. Nasea is scheduled to appear before the Committee on Tourism and Wildlife on Friday, 11.30 a.m. Ruto has rewarded eight politicians who lost in the August 9 elections, including former Langata MP Nixon Korir, former Laikipia West MP Patrick Mariro, Jonathan Mweke who vied for the Kitui gubernatorial seat, among others, Ambassador Bitok vied for the governor position for Wasing Gishu County but lost in the nominations. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi.